for an estimated 40,000 refugees in the Omaha metro. One of the first and biggest hurdles they face is finding a quality place to live. That's why an Omaha organization is working on a first of its kind study to see how it can help. Our Bella Karakta shares the experience of a refugee who says this research is an important first step. Paw Boy Tu was born in a Thailand refugee camp. Her parents fled the Karin state of Burma to escape persecution from the Burmese military. Here she is, number three. This is one of the only pictures taken while at the camp. In the refugee camp, you don't have no future. You just try to survive day by day. For 14 years, she lived there, idealizing life in America. So we used to watch movies in the refugee camp when we know about like Americans, they have a big building, they have a beautiful city. But then when we come here, we were surprised and we were thinking, oh, this is different than the movie. This, this is the reality and the reality hits hard. The resettlement agency put Paul and her family in a substandard apartment complex in Omaha with other refugees. I remember sleeping in those inflatable pool because it's, I, at least like, I get to sleep and no bad bird can bite me at night. Paul says housing challenges are a shared experience among refugees. The problems worsened by financial and language barriers. Now she helps other refugees settle into better circumstances than she did through an Omaha-based nonprofit called Restoring Dignity. Because refugee family, they already face so much challenges in their life, and this is the least we can do when they get he when they got here. That nonprofit recently won a hundred and thirty thousand dollar grant to conduct an extensive year-long study on how to better support refugees in their housing search. And for a long time, we've wanted to know what more can we do. That money will help launch a study across what they hope to include hundreds of refugees, landlords, and other support organizations. Because if you're not hearing from the people who it's impacting, then you're not really listening and you're creating solutions that might not even be helpful or efficient. The founder says the results of the study will help them create a roadmap to a better housing search for refugees. On your side, in Omaha, Bella Karakta, 6 News.